Nee, ba. Good morning, Milo. <clears throat> Sit. Milo. How was your first night in our new house? Was it really traumatic and hard? Is it stressful for you, buddy? Do you just want me to throw the ball? <laughs> hey, good morning, guys. It's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel. First morning sitting out here on our new patio in our new house. I'm drinking my coffee, playing with Milo. We have this cute mug I got from Crystal as a housewoman gift. It's got a llama. First uh, night went really well. <clears throat> I mean, all things considering, uh, Milo is learning the stairs. He did unfortunately notice the um, the air intake is at the top of the stairs. And last night, whenever we went to bed, um, he came up the stairs and then went into the um, went into the guest bedroom, which was like right at the top of the stairs, and wouldn't come out because he saw the air intake. And I had to go and drag him by his uh, collar into our bedroom. And then I could hear him, it's wood floors. We have wood floors throughout the house. Um, and I could hear him clicking his toenails as he paced the, um, the bedroom because he wanted to jump in the bed, but he doesn't have good uh, traction on the wood floors. <laughs> so it was just like click, 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 click. And I was like, oh my gosh, Milo, come on. He tried to jump in the bed. That I can't reach that. Over here. He tried to jump in the bed and unfortunately missed because he slipped on the wood. Ugh, stressful. Um, he just needs to learn how to be when he, because what's happening is whenever he's trying to jump in the bed, he's leaping off with too much force and it's, <clears throat> he's like losing his footing. So he just needs to learn that he can just um, gently. <laughs> gently jump and he should be able to make it in the bed just fine so it's just a learning process we're just helping milo get get learned it and all that so we're out here doing our normal routine of playing with the ball and drinking our morning coffee i have an interview at it went behind you oh my goodness he didn't see where the ball went there you go there you go keep looking use your nose use your nose <clears throat> I have an interview today at 11 at First Community Credit Union, which is like two minutes down the road, which would be super awesome. It's a part-time position, customer service, it like is good. Like if I were to get a real job, this would be the one that I would want to get. Um, it's not perfect timing, obviously, as far as like... I've really like overbooked myself for this weekend considering that I really need to get back to the old house. I need to clean it. Um, and we have to turn in our keys tomorrow. Um, and I have an interview today at 11 and then I have to go to the house and clean as much as I can <clears throat> before I get tired and I don't want to clean anymore. <clears throat> hopefully I can get all of it done. I like guess as, as much as I'm going to get done, hopefully I get done today. Um, if not, I'll go back tomorrow, finish up. And whatever I don't get done tomorrow has to be, I have to turn on the keys tomorrow. So, I mean, I'm hoping that I get it clean. I wanna at least make an attempt because I would really like some of our deposit back. But, I mean, we've been there for five years. There's obviously gonna be some wear and tear. So I feel like the amount, like, we didn't like destroy any property or anything like that. So I feel like we're entitled to most of our deposit back. Jonathan doesn't agree. But anyways, I've been talking long enough. Let's play with Milo and enjoy our coffee. All right, I'm back home from my interview. 
it went really well. Like, pretty sure I got the job. Um, so I'm gonna change my clothes, play with Milo a little bit. Um, so basically, oh well, I should probably tell y'all about what I interviewed for. So I interviewed for a customer service position for a credit union. Um, so that's really exciting. And um, it's a part-time position, 11.30 to 4.30, I think she said. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, I kind of hate having a job, but <laughs> I enjoy having money. So there's that. Um, and we'll see how it goes. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to change my clothes, uh, play with my little for a little bit. And then I'm going to be skedaddling over to the old house because I need to clean. I have spent seven hours cleaning this house. So we better get something back from our deposit. Hey, that's dog throw up. That's not fair. Well, because they would throw up under the bed and we couldn't get to it. The light switches are on the other side of the wall. Y'all wouldn't even know it was in there, right? We would hear a chance. Oh, y'all hear him. Yeah, he's out there. He's out there. Yeah. Bye, Chancy. Bye, Chancy. I know. I'm sad. I like when I came here and I like I went outside first because I like picked up some stuff in the backyard and I was like, Chancy. Yeah. You would want to come with, but unfortunately. they're on that side for whatever reason. And is all this? Yeah. Where's that? Did I use this as a closet? That was my closet. Where's that? In the room? <laughs> you act like you're poor. I might be a little bit. You're poor? I might just be a little tad bit. That's cool, you guys have two closets. Oh, what's in this closet? Is that was Jonathan's, but I don't think there's anything in it. Well, there shouldn't be anything in it. Toilet paper. <laughs> In the office where I did all my vlogging. Yeah. It's all empty. All empty. Good rhythms. <laughs> uh, tiny bathroom. Oh, really weird. After y'all moved out, I don't know if you've noticed, this is stopped up and there's tape right here. Because there were little fruit flies coming out of the sink. Ew. Isn't that gross? Yeah. How did that happen? I have no idea. So I just taped. I was like, how did they do it when no one is using this bathroom now? Like, it doesn't make any sense. That's weird. So I just kept it shut. That's weird. That's weird. Did y'all want to go up here and check this out quick? <laughs> no. So you have to say goodbye to the whole house. <laughs> I don't want to say goodbye. I've, I've never even been up there. You have to say goodbye to your whole house. I don't want to. Bye. Whatever is up there. <laughs> Sorry, I never discovered him. You're taking my bubble wrap? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, we need to turn off the air conditioning. Don't need to be AC in the place. Good morning, guys. I'm not really sure. I haven't looked at the footage yet. Um, obviously, as y'all can tell, this is gonna be a two-day vlog. Um, it was just, I was like going, going, going. So I went to the interview. I know that I told y'all that that went really well. Um, after the interview, I changed my clothes. And then I went to the old house and I was there from two o'clock all the way until nine o'clock. And that house is spotless. Y'all saw I walked around with uh, Rylan and Domley came over to get some stuff. And we, you saw I walked, I, I walked through the house or whatever and minus the carpet and the paint, which I feel like both of those are things that they need to be replaced or like redone anyways because we've been there for five years so after five years you know like the carpet needs to be replaced it needs to be repainted um so besides those things the house is spotless i scrubbed and polished and buffed everything in that house no dust it's all clean 
Um, there's going to be some charges, I'm sure, but I really expect to get back a majority of our deposit. Um, I'll be really upset if I if we don't because I worked my butt off. <laughs> um, after that, Rylan and Domily came over to the new house and I gave them a tour here and they hung out for a little bit. So that was really nice. But I am so sore. Like, my body hurts because I was... I mean, I worked hard yesterday in that house and um, I really... I mean, it's the cleanest it's ever been. <laughs> so I want to try to make sure that we keep up with this house a little bit better. Like, we weren't messy, dirty people, but it was like, um, you know, when we when we dusted, we didn't, like, move furniture around. So, like, we need to make sure that we, like, get behind things this time and, you know, like, move the couch out of the way and that kind of stuff. Like, we didn't do any of that at that house. Um, Jonathan and I were talking about it and we both agree that we need to have like a weekly, monthly, quarterly, biannually type cleaning schedule for the house. I can find, I've seen them before like shared on Facebook and on um, Pinterest and stuff like that. So I'll find one that works for us and yeah, so, um, Today is Saturday. <laughs> I'm losing track of days, but I think everything is finally going to be back to normal starting today. Um, we're, I'm turning in the keys at the old house. Um, I'm going to swing by there one more time, and I wanted to cut. There's, like, strands of carpet because, like, they use the worst quality of carpet and literally if there would be like a snag if you went over it with a vacuum cleaner it would just start unraveling so there's a couple of spots that I wanted to cut all those loose pieces off um, it would just make the carpet I think look better in my opinion and I also wanted to uh, <laughs> replace the, the the things that are underneath the burners on the stove um, I wanted to put new ones in. You can buy them at Family Dollar. So I'm going to pick those up and then go to the house and do those two things. Then go drop off the keys. Um, and that's it. So um, it's very bittersweet. Like um, lots of memories in that house. That was the first house that Jonathan and I shared together. Like our house. I mean we lived together for a couple months in him in his brother's house when we first started dating. But that was the first house that we, like, picked out together and, like, made a home together. So, um, and then, of course, Chance Lou, he's, um, he's buried in that backyard. And I wish I wouldn't have buried him there. Um, but I was, I mean, I know a lot of y'all probably don't. I mean, it was, it was like not expected. Like I was not expecting Chance to pass away. So, um, when it happened, I was really overcome with emotions and I made a quick decision and we buried him in the backyard. But then after the fact, like the next day, I really wish that I would have like had him cremated or something. So I feel really bad leaving him behind, but I mean... I can't really do anything about it now so okay I have to change the subject I still get really emotional I still miss them a lot so um, anyways I'm going to after that after I, we drop off after I drop off the keys um, I'm going to uh, paint like painting with a twist with some planner friends um, so that'll be really fun we're doing a llama painting and I'll be bringing y'all with me to that so yeah I'm gonna sit here for a little bit um, the place, the Main Street Renewal where I drop off the keys doesn't open till 10. Um, so I'm not gonna leave just yet. I'm gonna sit here and watch some 600 pound life. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Goodbye house. Goodbye. Goodbye forever. 145 over 84. Once again, it's coming down. So things took a turn, went a little differently than expected. Um, Jonathan was complaining of chest 
pain? No, chest tightness. Yeah, no, no pain. Never chest pain. tightness, shortness of breath, and he almost fainted at work. Yep. Okay, sorry. Um, radiologist came in and took an x-ray, but um, yeah, he was, did I, did I get to tell him that you felt faint? I think so. Yeah, so it's more than likely just stress related, but we didn't want to take the chance of it being something else. Better safe than sorry, so. <laughs> so we're here now. But I will say, you look tiny on that since the last time you had to do this. Oh, yeah. You look a lot smaller. You look cute in your hospital gown. Yeah, it's better. It costs like five hundred dollars. <laughs> Stop thinking about the money. Yeah, that's all I think about. Okay. We're back home. Yep. How you doing? Trying to take it easy. Trying to take it easy? Yeah. So we were cleared. Everything came back great. His heart looks great. His lungs look great. His blood work was good. Um, so more than likely stress related. They did refer him to a cardiologist to get a stress test done. Um, but yeah, it's probably stress. But when something like that happens it's always better safe than sorry so we weren't even really so much concerned with the chest tightness and the shortness of breath because he wasn't experiencing any pain it's whenever he he felt faint and almost fainted is whenever we kind of got concerned and thought you know maybe we should go get it checked out so we did and i'm glad we did so um but we're home now he's making himself some sausage and I'm gonna go pick up some chicken yeah. and um, yeah my forehead is very shiny under this spotlight, spotlight. <laughs> I'm glad you're home and everything was okay yeah 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 okay all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog it's long enough lots of stuff on there so subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to click that thumbs up button and i will see you guys next time bye this is it guys excuse all the dust and debris that was under our under our couch <laughs>